Managing your business and employee schedules is easy with Office 365 for small businesses. In this video, we'll use the features of Office 365 to make sure everyone is using the same calendar for company events, time off, meetings, and so forth. As a new employee at our Coho Vineyard, I need to tell everyone about a few vacation days I have scheduled next week. But since I'm new to the company, I don't know the process yet for submitting vacation time. I think I'll ask Scott one of my coworkers at Coho Vineyard, but I need to catch him quickly before he leaves in a few minutes. For this situation, I'll send him an instant message that will get his attention faster than an email. From Outlook or my taskbar, I'll open link real quick and send Scott a question. How do we enter vacation days and absences around here? In real time, I see Scott is typing a response. And okay, it looks like I'll find the process on our Coho team site, then employees and employee handbook. I'll click the link he sent, which takes me to our team site, where we put everything about our Coho business, including information for employees. When I open the employees site, then documents, I see the employee handbook Scott described. So I click it to open the document in the Word web application. And scrolling through, I see that a shared calendar is used for all vacations, meetings, and company events. It looks like Derek, our manager, set up a team calendar under his name for everyone to use. To add it, I just need to look for the original email invite from Derek and add it that way in Outlook. So I return to Outlook now, and here I see the shared calendar invite from Derek. I'll choose Open Team Calendar here. And this takes me back to my Outlook calendar, where I now see two calendars. My personal calendar and the team calendar shared by Derek. This adds the team calendar as an additional calendar in Outlook. We see it here under Shared Calendars. The nice thing about this is that it shows up here as well as the Outlook web app, which I can open remotely if I like. I can do a lot with this calendar view in Outlook, like change the colors of each calendar. I can show my own calendar in one color and the team calendar in another. I can view them side by side, like it is now, or I can overlay them to see them together at once. I think I like them side by side. So now I can add my upcoming vacation days to this team calendar, so everyone knows not to expect me in the office next week, or at least Tuesday through Friday. I'll enter the dates here, and then save. If we look at someone else's calendar, say my coworker Scott's, he'll see my vacation days with the description, hours, and the like. I noticed Derek added a few dates as well, next month's trade show. I also see a team meeting scheduled for later this week, so it's a good thing I added the calendar today. If I open the meeting, I see a link to a meeting agenda that Derek put on our team site and wants everyone to contribute to, apparently. When I click the link, OneNote opens, and it looks like I can add whatever I like, and so can everyone else. So I'll edit the agenda, and I'll add a new item here, and I'll let everyone know about the materials I can provide for next month's trade show. And I close out of OneNote, which auto-saves everything and I return to my calendars in Outlook. So as you can see, setting up a shared team calendar in Office 365 can be a great way to organize employee schedules, events, meetings, and anything else pertinent to the business.